So, for this lesson, um, after this lesson, you should be able to add similar fractions and subtract similar fractions. Okay, so similar fractions are fractions with the same denominator. So, ibig sabihin, yung numbers nila sa ilalim, yung denominator is the same. So, here you have, for example, you have 10 over 20, you have 2 over 20, and 7 over 20. Now, let's have an example here. So, when you're adding similar fractions, like in this case, you have 6 over 10 plus 3 over 10. So, ang rule niya, sobrang dali lang. So, ang gagawin lang natin, kailangan lang natin i-add yung dalawang numerators. So, 6 plus 3 will give you 9. Okay? Over, then ikakapi lang natin yung denominator nila. Since same denominator, so you have 9 over 10. So, ito na siya. So, yung 9 over 10 is already considered as a uh, fraction in the lowest term. So, para din natin um, kailangan i-consider na kapag nagsasagot tayo ng final answer, dapat parating simplest form yung fraction. Okay, so again, this time, let's have an, another example. So, you have 4 over 27 plus 14 over 27. So, katulad ng nasabi ko kanina, so, ang rules lang natin kapag meron tayong similar fractions, we just need to add the two numerators and then copy the denominator. So, 4 plus 14 will give us 18. And then, copy the denominator which is 27. So, pwede pa natin itong masimplify. So, let's say divide natin siya parehas by 3. Okay. So, this one will give us 6. And then, 27 over 3 is 9. So, may common factors pa rin yung 6 and 9. So, pwede natin siyang i-divide sa 3 ulit. Okay. So, mag-continuous division tayo. So, 6 over 3 gives you 2. And then, 9 divided by 3 gives you 3. So, therefore, the final answer would be 2 thirds. Ito na yung simplified form natin. So, kung di nyo agad na figure out kung ano yung kanyang GCF, okay? So, mapapansin nyo itong 3 times 3 will give you 9. So, kung ang una mong naisip is 9 yung GCF ng 18 over 27, so congratulations, kasi mas madali mong makukuha yung tamang sagot. So, here you have 18 divided by 9 gives you 2, and 27 divided by 9 gives you so again, you will just get the same answer. Okay, another example, you have 14 over 50 plus 51 over 50. So again, add the numerators. So 14 plus 16 will give you 30. Okay, and then, copy the denominator. So denominator natin is 50. So, pwede na pa natin itong masimplify. So, para masimplify natin, madali lang since parehas siyang multiple ng 10, you can simply cancel the 0 here. So, therefore, your lowest term would be 3 fifths. That's, that would be your final answer. Okay, so this time let's have subtraction. So, you have uh, 9 over 12 minus uh, 3 over 12. So, same rule as in um, addition of similar fractions. So, magpo-proceed lang tayo dito with the usual subtraction of the numerators. So, you have 9 minus 3 will give you 6. And then, copy the denominator of 12. Yan. So, you have 6 over 12. So, hindi pa to lowest term. So, kailangan natin siyang i-lowest term. So, divide natin parehas by 6. So, makukuha natin is 1 half. So, therefore, 1 half is your final answer. Okay, let's consider example number 5. So, you have 20 over 28 minus 12 over 28. So, again, so same rule. So, did you, isusubtract lang natin yung dalawang numerator. So, 20 minus 12 will give us 8. And then, copy the denominator, which is 28. So, hindi pa to lowest terms. So, let's consider dividing this by 4. Yeah. So, 8 divided by 4 here will give you 2. And then, 28 divided by 4 will give you 7. So, therefore, yung lowest terms natin dito is 2 over 7. And this can be considered as your final answer. Now, let's look at example number 6. So, sa example number 6, what we have here is a mixed um, fraction. And um, 
uh, proper fraction. So, pag ganito meron kang mixed fraction, so, pwede natin gawin dito is kailangan makonvert muna natin yung ating uh, mixed fraction okay, into improper. So, paano ba yan i-convert? So, recall natin. So, ang gagawin lang natin, i-multiply lang natin si denominator sa whole number. So, multiply that. So, 6 times 2 will give you 12. And then, plus the numerator, which is 1. So, meron tayong 13. So, therefore, this one is 13 over 6 minus 5 over 6. Okay. So, proceed na tayo sa uh, subtraction. So, 13 minus 5 will give you 8. Then, the denominator of 6. So, ito ay isang um, improper fraction. So, kailangan natin itong i-convert into a mixed form para siya maging simplified form. So, you have here, um, 8 divided by 6 will give you 1. Okay? So, ano remainder? So, 2. So, yung 2 yung magiging numerator natin and then yung denominator natin magiging 6. Now, if you notice, itong 2 over 6, pwede pa itong i-simplify. So, pag dinivide natin ito parehas by 2, you have 1 over 1 third. And this will be your final answer. So, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to add the similar fractions and subtract the similar fractions. Okay, so the similar fractions are fractions with different denominators. So, ibig sabihin yung numbers dito sa baba, magkaiba. So, for example, you have your 2 thirds, 1 fifth, and 8 over 20. So, these are all um, the similar fractions. Now, let's look at this example. So, how do we add the similar fractions? So, basically, kinagpa natin dito, we'll be considering the least common multiple. Okay, the least common multiple. And for that, we need to consider the denominators. So, for example, here you have 1 half plus 3 fourths. Okay, so to do that, um, kailangan natin consider yung kanilang, uh, uh, yung kanilang common denominator. So, paano natin makukuha yung kanilang common denominator? So, let's see. Ang common na multiple, ang greatest com ang least common multiple ng 2 and 4 is 4. Okay? So, therefore, here, we can divide 4 by 2. Okay? So, 4 divided by 2 will give you 2. And then, multiply natin siya dito sa numerator, which is 1. So, in this case, we have 2. Plus, okay, 4 divided by 4 equals 1. Okay, and then, um, multiply natin siya dito sa numerator. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and then times 3. So, you get 3. Okay, so therefore, ang equivalent fractions nito would be 2 plus 3 over 4. Okay, so simplify natin. So, yung 2 plus 3 will give you 5, okay, over 4. Now, since 5 over 4 here is... Um, improper fraction. So, ikalangan natin siyang um, express into a mixed form. So, 5 divided by 4 gives you 1. Tapos yung remainder is 1 over 4. Okay. So, therefore, the final answer for this one is 1 and 1 fourth. So, again, ang rule natin, kunin nyo muna yung um, least common denominator, as least common multiple, or in this case, you can say that this is the uh, least common denominator. And then, i-divide nyo yung common denominator, okay, dun sa dalawang denominator, and then i-multiply nyo siya parate dito sa numerator. Okay, so let's have another example. Okay, so this time let's have example number 2. So you have 5 over 7 minus 3 eighths. Okay, so... Kung hindi mo agad maisip kung ano yung um, LCD ng dalawang uh, denominators, ang pwede mong i-consider dito is pwede mong i-multiply yung dalawang denominators. So, for example, ito. So, gagawin natin 5 times 7. So, you have 56. Okay? So, then 56 divided by 7 gives us 8. And then times 5, you have 40. Then minus 56 Divided by 8 gives you 7. Times 3, you have 21. Okay, so pag sinimplify natin to, this is 19 over 56. So since 19 is already a prime number, um, we can say na yung 19 over 56 is already considered as your lowest term.
Okay, let's have another example. So you have here 2 and 1 fifths plus 4 over 7. So again, dito, meron na naman tayong um, mixed form. So kailangan natin gawin, i-convert muna natin siya into improper fraction. So 5 times 2 will give you 10. Okay? And then we will multiply that to 1. So meron tayong, I mean, um, plus 1. So 5 times 2 equals 10 plus 1, we will have 11. So 11 over 5 plus 4 over 7. Ayan. So after this, so gagawin na natin ulit yung katulad na ginawa natin kanita. So since magkaiba sila ng uh, denominator, so we will consider the LCD. Okay. So 5 times 7 will give you 35. Ayan. So here you have 35. Um, divided by 5 gives you 7. Okay, so 7 times 11 is 77. And then you have your 35. Okay, plus natin to. And then here you have 35 divided by 7 is 5. Okay, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. So if we will add this, we have 97 over 35. Okay, so since itong 97 over 35 ay hindi pa siya um, simplest form. Okay, so let me go back here. So, pwede natin siyang i-convert into a uh, mixed form. Okay, so ano bang mixed form niya? So, 35, uh, 97 over 35, uh, pinakamalapit is 2. Okay, kasi 70. So, 97 minus 70 will give us 27 over 35. Okay. So, yung 27 over 35, okay, wala na siyang um, common factors. So, para sa silang prime numbers, lalo yung 27 dito, wala na kasi, wala na kasi common factors yung 27 at saka si 35. So, therefore, this will be your final answer. 2 and 27 over 35. So, katulad kanina, kung medyo nalilito kayo dito sa portion na to, katulad na pinakita ko kanina, pwede nyo siyang gawin ganito. So, 7, I mean 5, times 7, okay? And then, dito, um, nandito yung 11. And then, ang wala na factor dito, pag kinumpere mo dito, is 7. Right, so, dito si 7 plus, okay? And then, dito ang walang factor dito sa pag kinumpere mo is 5. So, 5 times this one, 4. Yan. So, ganun din yung magiging sagot dito. Kung medyo hindi mo siya agad ma-imagine. Okay. So, pwede mo siyang isulat in that uh, way yung solutions mo. Okay. So, let's have um, another example. So, this time we have 7 over 8 plus 2 over 3. Okay. So, ang um, LCD ng 8 and 3 is 24. Okay. So, 24 divided by 8 is 3. Okay. 3 times 7 will give you... 21 okay. plus 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Okay, so therefore, this one is 37 over 24. So, pwede pa natin tong i-lowest uh, terms. So, ang gagawin natin dyan is mixed um, fraction. So, 37 divided by 24 will give you 1. So, ang kanyang remainder is 13. So, 13 over 24. So, prime number na si 13. So, we can consider this one as your final answer. Simplified form. 1 and 13 over 24. Okay, let's consider this final example. You have 3 and 1 half minus 1 and 1 sixth. Okay, so parehas tayo meron mixed form. So, ang gagawin muna natin, i-convert muna natin sila into improper fractions. Okay, so for this case, you have um, 3 times 2 gives you 6. Okay, plus 1, you have 7 over 2. Okay, minus, so 6 times 1, well, 6 plus 1 will give you 7. 7 over 6. So, ang kanilang LCD ay 6. So, here we have um, 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 7. So, we have 21 minus, okay, so since parehas lang naman to, copy nyo na lang to, numerator. So, 27. Okay, so with that, so you have 
uh, 21 minus 7 will give you 14. So, 14 over 6. So, po, isa-simplify natin to, mix 4. So, uh, we have 2, kasi 14 divided by 6 is 2, ni rest. And then, remainder of 2, and then, denominator of 6. So, 2 over 6. So, yung 2 over 6 natin, pwede pa natin isimplify. So, you have 2. Pag dinivide natin to parehas by 2, you will get 1 third. So, therefore, the final answer for this one is 2 and 1 third.